Hello and welcome to the Baxi Training Centre here in God Manchester. My name's Rob and today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of the deaeration function on the Baxi 600 and 800 combi and system boilers and also the main Eco Compact combi and system boilers. I'll show you how to activate the function for the very first time once the boiler has been powered up and should you ever need to drain the system in the future I'll also show you how to activate the deeration function once the pressure has been restored. So the deeration function was added to our latest range of combi and system boilers, not only to protect the main heat exchanger from dry firing, but also to ensure that circulation and noise issues have less chance of arising due to restricted waterways. If you've ever drained down an open vented system to replace a wet component, it would be a natural instinct to vent as much air as possible once the work is completed before attempting to fire the boiler. So otherwise your system will more than likely overheat. Now when you're working on a sealed system, the deaeration function will help assist in the removal of as much air as possible before firing the boiler, preventing dry fire. Now it was possible on older models to pressurise the boiler and fire it up straight away without venting the system, relying solely on the automatic air vent. Now we found that firing the boiler in this way risked damage to the stainless steel tubes on the main heat exchanger, potentially causing circulation and noise issues. So once you've turned the power on to the boiler for the very first time, you will be met with triple zero in the display window. The boiler will not respond to a heating or hot water demand at this time. You will need to force the boiler into deaeration mode by turning the central heating control knob a quarter turn clockwise twice in quick succession. If successful, the display will then change and show on, followed by 312. Now at this point there is nothing that can be done for approximately 7 minutes other than monitor the pressure gauge. If the needle on the pressure gauge drops, just add a little bit more water into the system via the filling loop. Now all you'll be able to hear is the pump running and occasionally the diverter motor moving in and out for central heating and hot water. Once the deaeration cycle has finished, the display will now show the primary temperature along with the tap and radiator symbols indicating that the boiler is now ready for you to fire up and carry out all of your safety checks on. Should you ever need to return to the property to carry out any work on the system that involves draining the system down, once all the work has been completed and the system has been refilled, the deeration function should again be activated. This time when you reinstate the power to the boiler, you will see the usual display showing the primary temperature and the tap and the radiator symbols. Turning the central heating control knob a quarter turn clockwise twice will once again force the boiler into deeration mode lasting approximately seven minutes, ensuring as much air as possible has been removed before the boiler fires up. Keep an eye on the pressure gauge and repressurize if necessary. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again soon for more Training Tuesday tips.